Hey guys, I want to share a haul with you all today. I finally found what I've been looking for for what, two years now? Um, <laughs> I knew that I could not get this kit after it sold out and had to look um, in other places where somebody might be selling this kit. Um, and I finally, it finally came up on eBay. Um, it's kind of funny because it was, there was a lot that actually had one of these kits in it. And I didn't end up winning the lot and then this was posted right after that lot was was ending and um, it was a buy it now and this was not a cheap kit to buy but it's now mine and I've been looking for this for two years as I said um, but I'll share this kit with you this is um, another haul I got from eBay this is a paper tray ink kit uh, not kit but stamp set as well it's a stamp and die set and it's called with all my heart and you get, um, I don't know, there's five dies here. And the dies actually fit the stamp set, of course. And you can tell only one of the stamps was used. Uh, no, two of the stamps were used. Um, and I do not know how old this is because I never looked to see what it was. So there are these different hearts. This is like a scalloped heart really tiny scallop actually no this is more of a scallop tart right with the little hole piercings around the side um, so you can tell that was used um, this one's more like a deckled edge heart and then here's another larger scallop heart and then this last one is actually a layer that fits inside each of the other ones I've just shown you so this is a really nice add for my die collection and then the stamps that go with it. Um, it's With All My Heart, Volume 6, Number 140, in case you are interested. And I don't even know if Paper Tray Ink still sells this, but I um, decided I wanted to go ahead and add this to my collection of dies and stamps. And the, di the dies for the hearts are two and a quarter inches. So it's called Limitless Layers for the dies, and then heart prints sentiment stamp set so that is this um, eBay purchase I made and then my other purchase from eBay which I have ne I don't think I've been this excited about um, a crafty item I've purchased in a while um, <laughs> only because I've been looking for this one for such a long time and this is the kit from Christmas for the Christmas 2014 um, make it market um, so this is the tinsel and tags kit. Um, most of you probably have seen this. Um, the, the seller actually included some extras for me, um, in my box and she told me that. So, um, she tried to include some Christmas stuff. Um, this is Baker's Twine from Target, I bet, because it says a dollar. And then some of this, um, wired, uh, trim. And then this. Um, Stampin' Up red, like a tool um, scallop ribbon, 10 yards of that. Um, this is a whole bunch of stuff that I'm not sure all of what it is, but I know that there's a lot of different trims in here. Um, this may have been in the kit, I don't know, I don't think so, but some sequins. Um, this ribbon I think was in the kit. It looks familiar. Or maybe this is Stampin' Up ribbon. That's pretty. Um, some of this little ruffle trim in white and she's put a like a green clothespin on it a very sparkly clothespin and what else is in here ah some brown um, sequin trim and some blue ribbon here and this pom-pom trim here and an, uh, one of these green sparkly balls and I hear jingle bells. Oh, look at that. That's a really pretty, it's a gold and black um, trim. And then there are some jingle bells in here. So that was in this bag here that says hello. I don't know if these are from Michaels, but it's really cute. Um, oh, there's a white, one of these sparkly things. So that was in there too. Fall down. And then inside the um, Make It Market kit, I believe there were like 
three of these in the original kit, and this is way more than three um, globes. Um, because I think there was enough to make six half domes. And so she's included a few extras here. And I have it wrapped so that it doesn't get scratched. Um, but I'll take that out to show you the rest of the stuff. And then there's this faux snow, which is in the kit. Um, this is part of the kit. <clears throat> this is some papers that show you what's in the kit. There are two stamp sets, um, and this actually is two sheets of stamps. Um, the size of the stamp is pretty big, you can see here. So this goes on like a tag, and you can see the images here for the, um, the kit. And then you get this stamp set. This is the original size of the actual stamps that are in the stamp set, the second stamp set. Because you can see here, these are smaller, but they really are this big right here. So you get two stamp sets, and you get um, you get several dies, and this is really what I was after with the kit. You get a snow scene at die or background. You get this. There's two here, right? There is the set with the house, and it's got a snowman and a and a tree, and then you clip it apart, and you get this tree and a deer. And then there's another set here with the trees, three trees, and then you get these two banners that will fit inside um, with the globes. And then these two sets here. Now, I do have something like this. This is like a, a what do you call it? A way that you can thread the dome onto a package because this cuts here and this cuts here. I think I have one like this, but they're not this plain. This is a plain one. And then um, these are like pine cones and leaves and there's a house, the snowman. Um, I don't remember what that was. And then there's some more cuts here. There's the ribbon, um, the deer, an acorn, a pine cone, and then more, more little things. And then there's a tag in here for the stamp sets um, to cut out some of those. And then there's a scallop um, circle in here and this cuts the base of the for the globe to put it underneath um, and then it can sit on top of this backer here see so this this galloped circle fits on top of the base here so um, it's nice to have those and then the last part of it is the original kit I believe had uh, a paper pad um, in it and so she's given me one new paper pad, which has never been opened, and one used paper pad. And um, you can see that in the kit, it actually had these, or in the paper um, pad, it has these. So they already provide you with bases if you wanna make, um, and this goes for that thing that you can thread through onto a package and just cut out. now. I would probably not cut these with the die. I would probably put this in my scan and cut and just cut them. Because I can cut them all in one pass instead of having to use the dies. So there's those sheets. The, here's the tags right here. And then there is two of those sheets. And then there's these um, printed sheets here. Pattern sheets, I should say, for using in the um, gloves if you want. Um, so I, like I said, I am so thrilled to have this because I've been hunting this, you know, occasionally I'll look on eBay to see if it's available. And when it came up, not once, but twice, even after I first missed the first lot, I was so happy to be able to, um, to, to purchase this, um, because I didn't think I was going to get it. So anyway, that is my haul for today, and I hope you are having a good work week. We're almost there, halfway through, right? Um, I will talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye.